Now you've seen Sora, you know it's an impeccable video generation model that takes us just a step beyond anything we've seen in the past. What you might not be aware of though is that Sora is way more than just a video generation model and it's actually the very first in a series of new AI breakthroughs that take us just a level beyond the GPT era. This video is titled Bigger Than You Can Imagine and it's still gonna be bigger than you can imagine even at the end of the video but hopefully by the end of the video you'll at least understand why. Now understanding this requires us to take a step back and review some of the most interesting things that Sora is doing. So for instance, some of these videos being generated by this model involve some of the most intricate fluid simulation you would ever see in a model of this sort. So for instance, this video generated by Sora shows a fluid simulation of a boat on coffee. It's quite interesting to point out that the fluid simulation demonstrated here is quite realistic, actually a lot more realistic than what you can typically achieve from game simulation engines. It demonstrates the model's deep understanding of fluid dynamics and there's more. The model understands volumetrics like the clouds in this video, kinematics, and even goes beyond physics that you would think it observed from any real world source. But for all this intricacy, how does it achieve this? So just a quick aside, emergent properties. Now this is a concept in machine learning where a model trained to perform a given task gains other skills to be able to achieve this task. These skills are typically unintended. In most cases, these skills emerge without researchers actually knowing about them until they sort of probe and look for them. So for instance, a model trained to generate images would almost instantly gain the ability to identify objects. This is required for the model to be able to achieve the task that it's given. So clearly, during the training of Sora on video data, the model learned how to simulate 3D physics, particularly fluid simulations and kinematics in this particular situation, but well beyond these aspects. Now there's an ongoing debate on exactly how OpenAI achieved these results. Now this tweet here by Jim Fan, a senior researcher at NVIDIA, points out the general notion on how we sort of think OpenAI was able to achieve this. Now he points out here that OpenAI probably trained Sora on synthetic data from Unreal Engine 5. Now you might not be familiar with Unreal Engine but it's basically a game engine. So it's a tool that's used to develop games using a set of pre-developed assets so scripts and 3D assets that you can sort of put together and use to create your game as opposed to creating it from scratch. Now why this is likely the case is because of Sora's unbelievable ability to simulate real world physics like in this video. So for instance to generate this video over here, the idea is that the model needed to create two realistic models of a battleship and then simulate the physics of them sort of floating around in coffee and kind of having a dance of this sort. This is something that it shouldn't be able to do using any real world data. You'd sort of never see a coffee cup behaving in this sort if it was real world data. But unsurprisingly, the model is able to clearly do this, clearly demonstrating that it was trained on a lot more data than a typical video models. And through all this data that it was fed, it also gained a really, really good understanding of fluid dynamics. Now, what's important to point out here is that this is not abnormal or new in these machine learning models. Not too long ago, I reviewed Lumia, and in that video, I talked about this paper over here, Beyond Surface Statistics Scene Representations in a Latent Diffusion Model. Now, the goal of this paper was to study whether these diffusion models learn more about our world than the data that we give them. So, for instance, if you give a model image data with text descriptions alongside them, it should be able to learn how to generate images. But the question is, does it learn more than that? Now in this analysis, they performed this experiment where they trained a diffusion model on images alongside text to teach it how to generate images. Now unsurprisingly, at the end of the training, it can actually generate images. So you can see here, it's generating an image of a car on a green background. Now taking a look into the model, they did a bunch of experiments to try and understand whether this model can actually understand depth within a scene. This is something that, like I said, it shouldn't be able to understand this, right? Because it was just given image data to allow it to generate these images using text. But sort of probing into the model, what we discover is that the model actually has a 3D representation of the scene. Starting from a very early stage over here, even before the image is denoised to the point where you can sort of tell what's going on, the model is already representing the image in a proper depth plane. Now it's not as clear from the beginning, but towards the end, you can sort of tell that the model has a clear understanding of the foreground and the background of this image, but it was never fed this data. And this is the concept of these emergent properties. So because this
these models need to understand depth in order to generate realistic images, they develop the ability to understand depth at a very early stage, even before they can actually generate these images. And they just sort of, they go with that plan, they go with that skill, and they continue to develop it because the better developed that skill is, the better they are at actually generating these images. Now, in a similar fashion, it is possible that Sora, really, really early on, learned how to simulate 3D physics. It learned how 3D physics works, and it just sort of went with that skill. It continued to build on that skill, continued to develop it, because that skill was actually quite essential for producing realistic video. And it was actually only able to produce this video because it was trained at scale. Now, it's important to point out a few things about this emergent property. So, we know that Sora can simulate 3D physics, but it's still gonna have issues. So, for instance, if you take a look at this simulation of a glass toppling, you can see there's a few problems here, right? The glass was intended to break. It doesn't actually shatter in the video, although it does go through the table as though it's already broken. So there's clearly a few issues. And this is an issue with the entire machine learning space is that these models, they're not exact because math and physics in extension, these are exact science. You need to produce an exact result to have a realistic outcome. And this is exactly what Jim Fan is pointing out here. He says, the difference is that UE5 is handcrafted and precise. So UE5 here, he means Unreal Engine. So it's handcrafted and precise. All the calculations are carefully developed to realistically or at least exactly mimic real world physics. But Sora is purely learned through data and intuitive. And in the same way that GPT-4 to this state still fails when you need exact calculations in a given math domain, even Sora will continue to fail because it's purely statistical. And sometimes statistical calculations fail. That's the whole point of probability. You're not going to get it right every single time, but you will get it right most of the times. And that appears to be sufficient for Sora to produce realistic animations of this sort. So this is where it gets to the more interesting part. Like I said, this is much bigger than you might imagine. And here's why. So this tweet here from Dr. Jim Fan once again is trying to explain the limits of our universe. So if you were to put every single physical rule of our universe into code or try and teach it to a machine learning model, how big would this model need to be? So here is just saying, well, if there's a higher being who codes the simulation of our reality, we can estimate the file size of the compiled binary. So he says Meta AI's MU video is 6 billion parameters. Now let's just assume Sora is 10 times larger. Then the creator's binary might be no larger than 111 gigabytes. Now there are a few caveats from this, but essentially what is trying to be explained here is that you can put a size, a physical hardware size, on the rules of our universe, on everything that sort of makes our universe work the way that it works. Now if you put a size on those rules, is it possible that you could teach all those rules to a machine learning model like Sora? Is it possible that Sora is already learning those rules? And if so, then can Sora simulate all physical events in our universe? Can Sora simulate physical events in planets that are really, really far away? Can Sora tell us if there are other creatures within our universe? Can Sora tell us if there's a different Earth? Can Sora tell us all possible events within our universe? Can Sora sort of answer these questions that we simply can't answer because we can't look far enough? Just within a world simulation model, as OpenAI calls it, can we look to answer all questions of our universe? Can we discover things that we're just not yet intelligent enough to discover? Things that are a bit too far away for us to look? Can we begin to answer those questions using models like Sora? And so in that language, can Sora help us imagine things that are well beyond our imagination? Things that we couldn't have figured out if we didn't have these world simulation models? It's certainly a question worth exploring. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully this has been super, super insightful. I'm really, really interested to hear exactly what you guys think. Leave those comments in the comment section. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will catch you in the next video back to our normal stuff with custom GPTs and stuff. But yes, I, I will catch you in the next video. Thanks everyone for watching and peace out.